Hi, this is Quicksilver. Like, comment, subscribe, thumbs up, thumbs down, you know what to do. Okay, so this is unboxing from JM Bullion. Um, I did this because I want to finish the collection, so I'll dig right into it. Um, the problem is I'm going to show another unboxing exactly the same way because they decided to goof up the order. Um, half, pretty much they said that you cannot send to P.O. boxes unless it's the same on your billing statement of your credit card because I pay with credit card in case lost shipping and cancel order. Um, that's not really the case. I guess my order got through, so now I got one coming to my P.O. box and one actually came to my address. So now I got two of the same, which I'll talk more about that. And customer service didn't really help me. They wanted me to pay a 5% shipping fee. So anyways, I'm going to open this up. This I got these to finish off a collection. This will be my second collection finishing. I did already open it up. There's the receipt. We're not going to look at that right now. Let's move this along. So pretty much I got all the turtles. So I got the 2011 Taku, Fuji Taku. Got the 2012 Fuji Taku. And I got the 2013. So, I mean, I bought five 2014 Takus or um, the new Hawkeye turtle coin. So, you can see the difference on the back. It's the same design turtle, Fuji Taku. And if you go on the front, um, it goes from new to Fuji, Fuji, and Fuji. And they all have the same thing. I don't really like how they marked up the plastic, but that's okay. So, I thought that was cool of a design. I really like this design. If I left this up right now, um, we could probably turn this over. Yeah, do that. So now it blends. So now, I mean, these two all look the same. This has a different face than the Elizabeth, but I really like the front on this one. Completely different. Unique. Um, so I'm going to be done with fish collection. Um, because I made an order from Atmax to get the 2010, which I was missing, and I'll be done with that. I also picked up a 2015 from Jam Bullion. Because I needed to make my mark and all that. And I thought another interesting coin was the Armenian... Um, Noah's Ark silver coin. Good price, nice design. I really like how they have a the 500, one ounce, the AG 999, the stuff in Armenian, the stuff in English. So, I did an order on Atmax to get the rest of these. This one wasn't on Atmax. These were all on Jam Bullion, but for 2010. Was on Jam Bullion, but was on that max. So when I did with two shipments together, at the same time, I pretty much grabbed my whole um collection of the Takus, and almost a whole collection of the Noah's Ark. I missed the 2011. Um, they don't have it. Only one place on eBay had it. The bid was super high, and that's gonna be for another next video. So this is Quicksilver, my first unboxing on Jam Bullion. Don't really like it because they messed up the orders and I got double of everything. So let me know if you want this. Um, like I said, I only got these. This I got from um, MCM, so that's not a part of it. So we'll just move it over. This is what I got. Great deal. Free shipping. Just too bad that they got the address mixed up and I don't like how they um, decided to screw me over and say I would pay a 5% return fee. Wait, what's your mistake? Um, next time I learn, you do buy the billing or I'll throw my P.O. box on my um, credit card. I don't know what I'll do. I'll figure that out. But this is Quicksilver. This is my JM Bullion first unboxing. Have a nice day. This is Quicksilver.